See, what you must do is, while you are sitting now, this whole room is flooded with healing energy. Each one will take according to his let go. You know, when you let go, you are sitting like this, sometimes this happens, suppose you are sitting like this. Here, you are sitting like this and your elbow, your shoulders, then your jaws drop. You don't know that you carry a tension in your mind and muscles. If you relax that, the energy which is surrounding me is shared with you. So already a healing transformation is happening. Healing transformation is happening moment to moment. So please relax. Don't have any preconceived motions. It all comes from the divine. I'm transmitting this. Garanath. Yes. I had uh, two questions. Yes. Um, so what is... Yeah. What is the best way to get into divine presence? Okay. What is the best way to get into the presence divine? You are already in the presence divine. Let me start. Within this body, the Sadhguru is dwelling whose energy you can feel, which is the divine energy. It's not his. Everything is divine. What you have to do is to let go. There is a similar germ of divinity in your heart. Once you relax and let go, the Sadhguru's divinity, your divinity, contact one another and then it contacts the divine divinity. Divine divinity, Sadhguru divinity and your individual divinity com combined, you will be living in the presence divine. This is the meaning of Ishwar Pranidhan. People think that Ishwar Pranidhan is just dedicating to the Guru and the Master and this is no, it's a placing your consciousness with the assistance. The Sadhguru is the server of humanity. He channelizes you and helps the novice to place it in the divine consciousness. So this is living in the presence divine. When you think, make an effort, you constantly keep forgetting that I am not this house of flesh and bone. It sleeps, decays and dies. I am immortal consciousness, Lord of the earth and skies. You should constantly to live in the presence divine you have to do Vivek Khyati, you have to remind yourself. I am not the corruptible body, I am the divine soul. I am not the corruptible body, I am the divine soul. Say it about ten times a day, twenty times a day, a thousand times a day. Main dekh nahi nashwar nasi, main alak niranjan na vinashi. Deh chit nahi main nashwar nasi, main alak niranjan na vinashi. How many understood what I am saying? Raise your hands. The Hindi people. Okay. It says, I am not this. Deha and Chit, I am not this body-mind. I am divine consciousness. So when you say I am divine consciousness and be still, then you are living the life divine. You are letting the divine consciousness permeate. And how do you test? What is the litmus test for divine consciousness? It is contentless. When you have a contentless consciousness, not a thought in your consciousness, it's bereft of the thought, that time you are living the life divine. That means in a temporary state of paravastha. You say we teach you paravastha and kriya. How many people know of the word paravastha, kriya yogis who know the word? Raise your hands right up. Yeah, those who don't bend their elbows, I can give them a special uh, blessing. Without bent elbow, can you do it like this, like me? Without bending your elbow. Yes, because I can see. Okay, so this. This is what means living the di life divine. Even when you are doing Kriya, suddenly your mind wanders. Mentally pull yourself back. I am the lightning youth divine. I am divinity. I am the lightning youth divine. I am the lightning youth divine. Lightning youth divine is Babaji. When you do the Kriya, every time you are reminding yourself of your divine origin. When you remind yourself again and again, you are, you are inserting discriminative wisdom. The wisdom is that you are not a perishable body, but a divine soul. This is one of the greatest factors 
which are an obstacle to your divinity is thinking that you are peri a perishable body and not a divine soul. You are a divine soul and have a perishable body. You are not a perishable body and have a divine soul. You are the divine soul and have a perishable body which can be cast away and another body can be taken. An old body can be cast away and a new body can be taken. Is that clear? So keep reminding yourself, I'm not, no perishable body am I. I'm divinity itself. I'm divine consciousness. I'm not the perishable body. I'm divine consciousness. I'm not the perishable body. I'm divine consciousness. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Move your little, move the speck of your perishable body from left to right. Move, close your eyes. Identify with the vast consciousness behind you. Identify with the vast consciousness behind you. Behind this little body speck of yours, the infinite ocean of divinity roars. Identify with the infinite ocean of divinity, which is the background of your little speck behind the body speck and move your body speck. Move your not self from left to right, gently. Close your eyes, move your not self from left to right. Identify with your true self, which is the vast ocean of divinity behind you. Om. Now, keep your body still. Identify with the vast ocean of divinity behind you. And move the not self from left to right. This is your vehicle. It's just a little blob of you. You are the ocean. This is the drop of the not self. But the ocean of divinity is behind you and the ocean of a spot of divinity is within your soul and in between that is the congealed not self, the physical body and the mind. But within the physical body and the mind is the essence of your soul. The spirit is the essence of the spirit. And outside of your body is the infinite ocean of spirit. So this inner spirit, the drop, must merge into the ocean. But for the drop of, to get to the ocean, it must practice Kriya Yoga and such techniques to thin, to make tenuous the body and the mind. You put the hands of your mind upon the eyes of your soul, which is inside as the spirit. You put the hands of your mind upon the eyes of your soul and cry that you cannot see. Take away the hands of your mind by Kriya Yoga. Merge the drop into the ocean spirit. And there it is. You are enlightened. Identify behind this body speck of yours, the infinite ocean of divinity roars. Identify yourself with the infinite ocean of divinity. Your body is a speck of non-being. Who is identifying? The spirit in your body. Is that individual spirit in your <coughs> soul is identifying with the universal spirit outside your body and mind. So the individual spirit of the soul is merging the in, into the infinite ocean of divinity. That is the purpose of yoga, evolving to merge the jiva drop into the shiva ocean. Jiva shivachi zadali samadhi. The drop merges into the ocean and I am enlightened. But the body and mind, 
the various stratas of mind are an obstacle. And for this we practice the science of Kriya Yoga. The inner self's endeavor to merge into the universal self, this endeavor is called Yoga. The effort to unity of the Jiva with Shiva, of the water with the ocean, of the self with the super self, of the Atma with Paramatma. Be still. I am there for you as the presence. <clears throat> take the assistance. Do not be shy to take the assistance of the Sadhguru. <clears throat> if you see his form and face, your thoughts will disappear. Those are the barrier that come between your individual consciousness and the super consciousness. This is living a life of divinity. <clears throat> I'm not the perishable body, I'm the divine soul. O oh, Sadhguru, you are the divine soul. Take me to the infinite divinity. You will see that you will have no thoughts now since Guru Nath is serving you as his larger self. He is giving you the food and not the venue. <clears throat> this tranquility of mind which you experience is an introduction of Guru Nath, of Sat Guru Nath. This is my identity. I am there for you as the spirit of nothingness. I am there for you as the presence, Babaji. Then stiller than stillness itself, with bated breath, I do behold my rising self sun's nectar gold. Then stiller than stillness itself, with bated breath, I do behold my rising self sun's nectar gold. I dissolve in that mystery untold. This is a state of nirvichar samadhi.
be still and know that you are God. No body movement, no mind thoughts, tranquility at its best. Your consciousness is raised above your body, your emotions and your mind. I am now taking you to this, the ultimate healing, is enlightenment. And in the state of Paravastha, you are still with the Sadguru, you are still with Mahadev. Pure stillness is Mahadev. Integrated Consciousness is Mahadev, Shiva, bereft of thought, just the stillness. I take you to the land of the stillness and the peace you often craved. The land of the Hamsas. Deeper and deeper you go into the heightened awareness of your own divinity, the more silent you become, the purer the spirit of your soul is. The purity of divinity knows no bounds. Purify your spirit self by regular practice by thinning out the mind, attenuating the mind. For you are the Spirit of the Lord. I am Spirit, I am Truth, I am Love Divine. This body-mind, a dream of mine. This is the mantra I give to all people in America. The Vivek Khyati. Chant this while going to bed every time and rising up. I am spirit, I am truth, I am love divine. This body mind, a dream of mine. I am spirit, I am truth, I am love divine. This body mind, a dream of mine. Whisper with me. I am spirit, I am truth, I am love divine. This body mind, a dream of mine. I am spirit, I am truth, I am love divine. This body mind, a dream of mine. I am spirit, I am truth, I am love divine. This body mind, a dream of mine. I am spirit, I am truth, I am love divine. This body mind, a dream of mine. Inhale love. Hold love. 
exhale disease, decay and death. Inhale love. Hold love. Look to the left and exhale love. Look to the front and relax.